One thing here, gentlemen, I know we've got executive session here with regards to uh, a union contract negotiation. But before we get into that, we have a situation, and I know uh, it's been going on for a while, we've discussed it at some point. Uh, it's been in the paper recently, and that is with regards to sales tax. Um, I know I've talked with you folks, you've probably read it in the paper, the advantages of becoming a city uh, with regards to the town and Um The benefits, obviously, with that give us significantly more revenue when it comes to sales tax. Um, the downside is, is small, negligible, uh, and it's something that we need to be concerned about here in the town of Hartford because as all of you know here on the town board, our sales tax has flattened out. Uh, it dropped for about six quarters, <coughs> and now it's sort of flattened out. Uh, as our expenses rise, uh, it gets harder and harder because the tax cap gets lower and lower on us. Um, so we're, we're limited to how much we could raise in tax. Uh, and the sales tax just isn't there anymore as it used to be increasing. Um, what I'm going to propose tonight, I've had Herb draft, uh, draft a resolution which would basically give me authorization from the board here to move forward to uh, look into this uh, town of New Hartford becoming uh, a city. And Herb, would you read that resolution? Sure. Uh, whereas, whereas the town board of the town of New Hartford is concerned with consolidating and maximizing services to its residents, and whereas it appears that due to the growth of the town of New Hartford and concerns with regard to limits of taxation on real property, there are serious issues that need to be dealt with. And whereas the town board wishes to investigate all options to provide for the best interests of its citizens, now therefore be it resolved that the town board of the town of New Hartford does direct Supervisor Patrick M. Tuzinski to go forward with efforts to convert the town and any villages therein to a city with the understanding the supervisor will keep the board fully apprised of all findings. That being said, do I have a motion for this? We have a discussion first. Well, you've got to get <laughs> a second. Yeah, I have a motion. motion. I'll make the motion. Motion by Dave. Second? Second. Second by Paul. Discussion? This is to investigate. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's why I added the line. This is to so, <laughs> so, so there's no, just, I don't know if you have to put this in there, so there's no fees that would be involved. You bring that to the board every time there's a fee, right? Yes. So I'd like to see just anything yeah. any surveys are done or any costs that you know we know up front that's all sure. right now there is no cost involved with this. okay at this point. have you discussed it at all with the two villages yes and their input was uh, they understand the severity of, of what's going on with this potential redistribution that's being mm -hmm. talked about in, in the uh, county line um, depending upon where that redistribution goes it could uh, hit them significantly uh, financially. There's been talk that they may, uh, on this redistribution, eliminate the entire sales tax going to the villages. That would put them in, in a financial crisis, if you will. That being the case, uh, both the villages uh, have expressed to me that they would rather be part of the city uh, and uh, have financial stability than to remain as a village and have problems with uh, their finances. I don't know if you read the paper yesterday, but um, I just glanced at the article and it sounded like there was a meeting and that the villages were not even right. invited to participate. All right. The mayor of Boonville had yeah. a, a nice uh, editorial that I think really shows the problem. Is that today? I didn't see no, it. No, it Saturday or Sunday. Okay. So I know this is again just investigating and there's obviously and all that to go oh, yeah. forward. I mean it's a big process. It is a long and detailed process. So if this was ever to hit the floor and so what what happens to police, fire, school, maybe? Nothing would happen to the school. It would remain the same under the jurisdiction of the school board. Uh, as far as our police department goes, it stays the same. Um, the one thing that would change is that we would have to have a full-time court 
which would mean um, having a judge um, that would be elected. Yes. Right? City court judge. Um, and there would be some additional cost of that, about 200000 Yeah. Is what you estimate? Then you'd have to have full-time court staff, daily calendars. The first thing that would uh, would have to happen is a vote in the villages to dissolve. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. While well, we go forward, you the first about? thing the, the steps go is that we would apply to the state, state. to right. become a city. Right. Upon adoption of that by the state to become a city, then we would come back and then there would be a vote within the two villages because you would have to eliminate the two villages and you would have to eliminate the town. And the town. Okay. Right. So there would be a vote in both villages and there would be a vote in the town. You're right, friend. I'll make a motion we uh, investigate. Motion by Dave. Second, I think you already gave a second. Oh, yeah. second. Where Any more? Kind of sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, there was. There <laughs> was. <laughs> oh, Jim, wait, did you set Well, I, you mean my timeline yeah, or the timeline on if we were to move forward? On? If we were to move forward on how you want to investigate it. I want to I want to move as quickly as we can to be honest with you to bring the, the, all the facts and circumstances back to the board. Okay. Um, so I'm looking to have something within probably the next two or three board meetings as okay. we move forward on it. And we'll have another board we'll meeting we'll move forward on that at that point. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To mm -hmm. because at that point, as Paul pointed out, you know, then you're probably getting into some legal costs, mm -hmm. probably some uh, court costs or whatever. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we would have to have another resolution at that point because of the cost incurred. Any more discussion? Are we still 80 percent of the sales tax generated in Mandy County? Or did it go down? Uh, I would say that we're at the very least. Uh, if you go back to the GIS study that was done in 1993, 93, 93, 93. Uh, it stated in there that it was between 60 to 70 percent. That was before Consumer Square, that was before Olive Garden, that was right. before all of those things that were up there. I think at that point the only thing we had was uh, we Sager Town. Okay. Was here. Other than that, all of the new retailers come in. So when you say 60 to 70 percent back then, yeah, 80 percent is probably more than reasonable figure. Could even be higher than that. And by the way, we get about 20 percent. Right. 20% of what's distributed. Right. Okay, that being said, if there's no other discussion, um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous? <coughs> okay, with no